Mm -hmm, of course it is. This is the, uh, you know, the changing of the seasons. We're around Halloween. This is the time to be deliciously evil and, uh, and to explore the, uh, the light and dark. So that's what we're here to do. You know, I am so excited. I'm always excited to, to see the movies, you know, from an analytical point of view, just to see how the performance was and how things were. And as soon as I saw that in London a couple of weeks ago, screening, I was just blown away. And I said, you know what? I can't wait to see this movie again. This is the second time I'm getting to see it. So I'm, 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 I'm super excited to, um, to share it with the audience. American audiences are always so uh, vocal, we should say, or animated, perhaps. And um, so, um, so I can't wait to hear when they're booing and hissing and laughing and, and crying, perhaps, because it's a pretty emotional um, roller coaster that we take them on. You know, she has this, you know, playful, mischievous glint in her eye, um, this kind of naughty energy to her, which is um, so endearing and kind of delectable. You know, but at the same time, I think there's an undertone in this of, of uh, you know, strong morality. And, and, you know, really, I think that comes from her as well. So, you know, this could have been a, a, a movie which was just delect delectably, uh, deliciously evil. But actually, it's more than that. You know, the, the moral undertones, the conversations that we're opening up, um, you know, I, I think she should take a lot of credit for, for steering the, um, the ship in, in that positive, constructive and, and um, conscious and progressive direction.